Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars and all YouTubers out there. So listen, uh, my name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have been following this series, um, I really appreciate you doing so. If you haven't, you know, if you're just jumping in, you want to understand playbooks, that's fine as well. But I would urge you to watch the other videos because you will get a lot of information there as well. So today, what I want to do is talk to you about playbooks and how we're gonna, what we're going to do to set them up. So here is our agenda for today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a rule template and this rule template I'm going to set up um, is going to be one associated with MFA. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create a playbook from a template. And then I'm also going to show you exactly how to edit um, our rule with the playbook template. Okay. So first thing we need to do is we need to go to analytics and we want to create an analytic rule, right? So that's one of the first things we're going to do. So look at our active rules right now we have three active rules we have brute force attack against azure portal brute force attack against a cloud pc etc etc so i'm going to come over here to our templates and i want to look for one specific one so i'm going to say mfa and we have two mfa ones so it's explicit deny and then mfa rejected by user so if we go to mfa rejected by user what does it say identifies occurrences where a user has rejected an mfa prompt this could be an indicator that a threat actor has compromised the username and password of this user account Remember, it's username, password, and then MFA. Hopefully, you set up your organization. So what this is saying is if they've got the password, then all they need to do is get the MFA to be approved. Now, the, the reason why you would want to make sure that this is um, definitely uh, being looked at because if somebody's account gets a compromise, let's say they're using the same password, which a lot of people do, for a personal email. So let's say if it's their Gmail, Yahoo, doesn't really matter and that gets compromised, the threat actor goes on LinkedIn, finds where the person works, they can easily find out the naming convention, the username and password. Now, for once they go in and they use that same password, the next thing they need to get into is the MFA. Now, what happens is some users, you know, they'll just say, oh, okay, my PC probably refreshed or whatever, or they might not be paying attention and they may approve an MFA connection. So this is something that you really want to pay attention to within your organization. Here's another one. User explicitly denies MFA push, indicating that the login was not expected and the account password may be compromised. This one is a really good one. So let's make sure we get this going. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to create the rule. Okay. So we can keep this rule name here. I can add something here like test if I wanted to. So I'll throw test there and I could change the severity if I want to change the severity as well. And I went over analytic rules in another video, but I'm just kind of going through like a refresher. Uh, setup rule logic. You don't need to make any changes here, but if you wanted to, you could, right? Um, but we're not really concerned about this. Where we want to go to is the automated response. Now, if I were to click add new, if I come in to add new, I might even going to fill out this automation rule name. I, what I want to do is show you something. If I come here and I click run playbook, you'll see right here, no playbooks are showing up. And this is something I want you to pay attention to because people run into this situation a lot. And what you want to do is you want to make sure it says when alert is created. So now if I went alert is created, if you notice the actions and conditions sections changed, and if I click down here, I don't have any playbooks showing up at the moment. And the reason why is because I don't have any playbooks. But this is how you would make sure your playbooks are running. So if you're running into that problem, because I ran into that myself and my other tenant, and I wasn't seeing any playbooks. As a matter of fact, I actually was seeing playbooks, but I was only seeing two playbooks, and I had like three others that weren't showing up. And I'm going to talk you through that as well. So... The reason, so this is very important. So this is at alert automation classic. So it says as of June, 2023, you can no longer select playbooks to run directly from an analytics rule. It's talking about this. This is the analytics rule by adding it to the following list. When it says following list it's talking about up here, playbooks already in the list will continue to run until March, 2026, where they're giving you a lot of time. If you already have playbooks established before this date, when this method will be uh, deprecated, but then it also goes to set instead to run a playbook in response to an alert generated by this analytics rule, create a automation rule, choose when alert is created, right? And that's what I mentioned earlier as the rule trigger and add the playbook to the rules action list. And then it says we strongly encourage you to migrate any playbooks in the following list to run from automation rules. 
And what it's saying here when alert is created is exactly what I was talking about earlier. And that's this section here where you go to when alert is created and you can see it's, it automatically goes to playbooks. So I'm gonna cancel out of this and I'm gonna create this rule. It's validating, validating. All right, validation has passed. Okay, so we have our rule kind of set up. It's shown in our active rules, but remember there's no automation happening. So this rule is pretty much, you know, halfway done. So what we need to do at this moment is I'm gonna come down to automation. Now in automation, you see we have automation rules, but this is incident created, right? So this isn't gonna really help us out because over here we have active playbooks and there's nothing showing up here. So what we wanna do is we can do a playbook from a template. And this is what I was mentioning earlier with playbooks from templates in the previous video. So going back to the PowerPoint, it says a playbook template is a pre-built, tested, and ready to use workflow that can be customized to meet your needs. Playbook templates aren't usable as playbooks. You create a playbook and editable copy of the template from them. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So one thing I wanna show you is make sure when you're choosing it, right, that the one that you have for a trigger is the Microsoft Sentinel Alert because sometimes they will not show up. So if I had this one, one of these before, and as I was looking into setting up the playbook, when I went to my analytics rules, it did not show up. So these icons, this trigger, we really need to pay attention to because it won't show up. So what I wanna do is I wanna choose a right one for the MFA. So this says this playbook will revoke all sign-in sessions from the user using Graph API. It will send the email to the manager. So this looks pretty good. Then we say, this one is prompt user. We also have one that blocks. So for each account entity, the alert, this playbook will disable the user in Azure Active Directory, add a comment to the incident that contains this alert and notify the manager. So this is good too. But this one says this playbook will revoke all sign-in sessions using Graph API. And this one will reset the password. So I like this one because it says this one, this play will reset the, the user's password using Graph API. It will send the password, which is a random uh, GUI substring to the user's manager. So this is really cool because I like the way, remember if they are going in with MFA and they're explicitly denying it, then most likely their password has been compromised and the only thing left is the MFA account that's keeping our organization safe. So we can definitely knock out with this one. Let's see the other ones. Is there anything else we would like with this? Uh, no, that's fine. We'll do this one. So we'll reset AD user's password. So let's go ahead and do that, right? So what are the prerequisites? And one more thing I want you to notice is when each one of these, there's different prerequisites, right? You will need to grant user read, write, all permissions to manage identity. So a lot of these work with manage identities. And in order for them to work, the managed identity needs to have the right permission. So just pay attention to this. Sometimes you might be setting up one of these templates and saying, okay, why is this not working? And you didn't do the prerequisites. So I just wanna point that out there. So I'm gonna go and say, create playbook. So yeah, whatever subscription you wanna put that in, your resource group, make sure it's in the same resource group as your Sentinel, as we were talking about in previous videos. And then I'm just gonna add something here and just say test just so I know which one it is. We can enable diagnostic logs and we can send the information for this uh, automation uh, to that, but I don't need to do that for this because it's obviously for video. You can do that in your environment. And then here we have connections and then you'll see here a new connection will be configured. So I don't have a Outlook associated with um, the Cloud Scholars at the moment, um, but you'll notice here it says new connection will be configured. So this says connect with manage identity grant permissions to the managed identity after deployment. So you wanna make sure that you're doing that correctly. And then you wanna go here and you'll continue to designer. So once you go ahead and you create your playbook, what you'll notice is you'll have a logic app that's gonna be associated with it. So if I come over here to this tab and I type in logic apps, the same logic app. So whatever you call your playbook, that's what the logic app is because that's how playbooks run. And what you'll see here is a, as logic app designer and let's walk through exactly what this is doing. So the first one is Microsoft Sensor Alert. And then as you go down here, it says initialize variable, it says password string. And then it says password, so value of substring. Description ID, resource group, workspace ID, et cetera, et cetera. 
get incident and this one is going to say get accounts so whatever account is is uh falls into this alert is going to grab that information and now here is a for each so for each one what you're going to do for the account you're going to go ahead and you're going to reset the password as you can see here it's called the graph remember I said it was going to do the graph api concatenate so this is going to be associated for the users that are there and then the body is going to say uh, force change password true force change password next signing with mfa false and then here is where it's going to do the email so you notice right here authentication is the manage identity that's why i was saying hey make sure the manage identity has the right permissions and then down here it's the same thing is going to send oops sorry it's going to send them e email to the manager um that's where it's going to get the manager and then condition is manager available so you want to make sure in your organization that you have the manager set up because this isn't going to work correctly if you don't have that manager tab within your active directory set up where people know so it can know exactly who the manager is now you see right here this is where you're going to have to make the modifications because it says select an existing connection or create a new one i don't have any office 365 associated with cloud scholars i just have the azure subscription something i should do because it will definitely help out with the understanding of these videos but down here is where you want to make sure your connections are right if you see any symbol like this within your logic designer then you know that something's not correct it's telling me hey something's not right here uh you need to modify that so other than that we should be all right it's going to give me an error message when i click save because it says you know it's, it's saying that some connections are not authorized yet which is fine um but you can still get the gist of this video which i'm going to click okay on that one So here you have your your different your manage identity. This is where you would be getting that information. So you see it's on, and you would grab this manage identity, and you'd actually you know do your Azure roles with that manager identity to make sure that it has access to do um, to fulfill the request. But what I want to do now is since we have this playbook now here. So here's our playbook, and you see it says reset Azure AD password alert trigger test. Um, and you notice the trigger type kind is Microsoft Sentinel alert. So if we were to come back to analytic rules and we would come back up here to this explicit MFA deny, I would need to go back here and edit this. And then here in my automation response, I'm going to click on add new. And remember, this told us that we need to make we need to make the changes. It says instead to run a playbook in response to an alert generated by this analytic rule, create an automation rule. And that's exactly what we went ahead and did. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to create a rule right here. And I can say, OK, uh, when alert is created and I'll just say change password. I call it that. And down here, when I click on it, you see right there, it shows up reset Azure AD password alert, and we called it test at the end. Now we can add some extra actions. If you wanted to add some extra actions, we could, or another playbook, but we don't need to go ahead and do that. And then we can say when the rule expires and we can just click apply. And then once we do that, we make sure it validates, we click save. And then we're all set. Now our analytic rule is finished and we're able to say, okay, we have our analytic rule running with a playbook that can make sure that if any threat happens, we have an automated response to it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video because you can get a lot of different playbooks. There's a GitHub for playbooks and then also the Microsoft documentation so you can read through it as well. So I hope the information I provided to you in this video was beneficial. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will definitely respond. I, I respond to all the comments. It may take me like a day or two, but I do respond to all the comments and I like them. So I, I, I would really appreciate the feedback and everybody who has any questions or anything that you thought I went over and you're like, hey, I'm having a problem with X, Y, and Z. I am more than happy to help you out when it comes to that. So as, as always, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Kieran Tross, and my goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant. And of course, 
Consultant to Expert. Thank you, and see you next time.